Hael, a servant of Elohim, an apostle of Yahushua Hamashiach, according to the faith of Elohim's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after holiness, in hope of eternal life, which Elohim, that cannot lie, promised before the world began, that has in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of Elohim, our Savior. To Titus, my own son, after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from Elohim the Father and the Adonai Yahushua Hamashiach, our Savior. For this cause left I you in Crete, that you should set in order the things that are wanting and ordain elders in every city as I had appointed you. If any be blameless, the man of one woman, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly, for an elder must be blameless, as the steward of Elohim, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouth must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said the Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Yehudic fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know Elohim, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. But speak the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in love, in patience. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as is becoming holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their men, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own men, that the word of Elohim be not blasphemed. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded, and all things showing yourself a pattern of good works, in doctrine showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their Adonai, and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of Elohim, our Savior, in all things. For the grace of Elohim that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying wickedness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and holy in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and that glory appearance of Elohim Haggadah and our Savior Yahushua Hamashiach, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise you. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey ma magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, 
serving diverse lust and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of Elohim, our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Ruach HaKodesh, which he shed on us abundantly through Yahusha HaMashiach, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that you affirm constantly, that they which have believed in Elohim might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the scribes, for they are unprofitable and vain. A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that he that is such is subverted and sins, being condemned of himself. When I shall send Artemis unto you, or Tychicus, be diligent to come unto me to Nicopolis, for I have determined there to winter. Bring Zenus the lawyer and Apollos on their journey diligently, that nothing be wanting unto them, and let ours also learn to maintain good works for necessary uses, that they be not unfruitful. All that are with me salute you. Greet them that love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen.